phenomenon of the century thus far. Everybody, can you hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Beatles! captured Liverpool, London, and we were out to capture the world. Uh, you know, it's funny to say how it felt, because it was, it was so crazy. We wanted to be famous. We wanted to do well. We wanted to... You wanted to be famous, I too. <laughs> <laughs> you did. So, you know, we were doing what we really wanted to achieve, and it was getting better and better. But this funny stuff, of, like all the screaming and the, the, the craziness, was coming in at the same time as all the success, which is what we wanted, so we couldn't complain. But it got out of hand, and the story is that in the end, um, it kind of forced us off the road, so we had to come back to this studio and make Sgt. Peppers. And we started living in here. Excellent. You know, before, for the singles and that, we'd just mm -hmm. get up in the morning, get in the car, come here like 9, 11 o'clock, make a track drive to Birmingham, do a TV thing, drive to Newcastle, play a live gig, drive back. It was like mad, yeah. you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> but then eventually okay. we did kind of moved Then we lived here, here and went, after we stopped touring. Got off the road. Why did I scream? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Hello, my name's Paul McCartney. This is Ringo Starr. This is John Lennon. I'm George Harrison. The Beatles, in one meteoric year, they've led the way from the cellars of Liverpool to the national line. What about the reports that you guys are nothing but a bunch of British Elvis friends? It's not true, it's not true. <laughs> the great thing about it for me is that the music keeps hitting the next generation. They listen to the music. Mm -hmm. It's not always with the mop tops or the boots. It's the music itself. And anyone who's interested in being a musician usually play our stuff to see what that was like. And you know, it holds up to this day. I'm always, I'm still shocked that if a Beatle track comes on, it could have been made today. You know, not a you know, hundred years ago when we made it. Um, it's just, it's far out. Was it a hundred? A hundred, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right that the cultural thing didn't occur to us at all because we were just a band making music we loved. So the idea that it was culture was like, mm, not really, you know. But what's happened is it's, it's gone into the culture. Yeah. So kids are actually learning in school. And my kids will come back and say, Dad, you're in the history books, you know. So it's, it's become part of the culture. And that's very exciting. Yeah, this mania was so much pressure. We were kids. We were all pretty scared. It's a miracle in a way they didn't go mad. <laughs> Well, we had each other, and we brought that to the music. 